welcome back to the Neon Revolution. Today's episode. That's right. We got some more Shining Fates somehow. I have no idea how, but we do. We have the Mad Party Pin Collection, or the MPPC, which is even harder to say somehow. Whoever named this, uh, not, not the greatest, but that is okay. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna open that up, toss that in the recycling, and then, all right, so, for those of you who do not know, there are several different kinds. This kind is the Bunnelby. Super, super trippy artwork. Love the hollow on this. Gonna go ahead and sleeve that up. Beautiful Black Star promo right there. You also get a fancy, fancy little Bunnelby pin. Boom, look at that, in focus and stuff. Camera work. All right, and then you get three, three packs. Ooh, one's upside down. Interesting. So we're gonna open that one first, actually. I'm gonna set those off up there into the recycling. And then we got the Cramorant, well, it's good, shiny. Cramorant V collection. Also very, very exciting. Any shinies I do love. Let's go ahead and open that up. All right, this comes with a bunch of packs to get the promo card out. Recycling. Cramorant V Shiny. Beautiful. Look at that, so much shine, it throws off the camera. Doesn't know what's going on. All right, we uh, double sleeve this up just because you, know, you never know. You never know. Shiny Cramorant V Jumbo card. We set that aside, and then we pull out all these packs. Is it five packs in here? Three right there, and two right there. So, we've got eight packs. Eight packs to go through, and we're pulling the Charizard. I'm calling it now. We're pulling the Charizard. That's it, I'm done opening Shining Fates. As soon as we pull the Charizard, I'm not gonna open one for a very long time. I love the set, I do. But oh boy, is that Charizard escaping me right now. So let's go to the close up and pull them. All righty, we are back with the close up and we're doing the upside down pack first as promised. Uh, Cause I, you know, I, I wanna see if maybe the upside down packs are lucky. It is four from the back for the card trick. And let's see if we can't start off with a bang. Uh, we're doing the three from the Mad Party Pin Collection box first. Let's see if it was a good box or a bad box. All right, there's the, uh, the energy card. Three uncommons that follow. Thwacky, Gym Trainer, and Floatzel. Behind this is either a shiny or something that's going to make me very sad. And it is a Thievil Shiny. This is one we don't have, so this is a great pull right here. Thievil, what do you have behind you? A Galarian Weezing Holographic. We are doing absolutely phenomenal to start. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can keep this up. Uh, They're both sleeved. The Shiny is going to get double sleeved because all Shinies are getting graded for this set the idea that i have in my head is i'm going to get a master set of this set i'm going to do it and i'm going to get all the shinies graded and while yes that's going to be expensive to say the very least uh, i think that it is going to be worth it because reasons i love this set this is one of the first sets. This is the first set since I got back into it that had shinies. Hidden Face was before my time, so it was very hard to find. As much as I would love to have a master set of Shining Fates, that's just never gonna happen. Uh, the real Breaking Nate, someone who has been given stuff from the Pokemon card company, doesn't even have, well, he might have one now. The last time I knew, he didn't even have one. So, if he can't get one, whoo. Chances of me getting one, nope, 
All right, so we pulled the shiny on the first pack. This is the second pack. Shiny's behind this one. And we got a Kyogre, amazing, rare, not a shiny, but I will take it all day. Who doesn't love a good, amazing, rare? Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, man, I love that artwork with the bleeding of the colors around there. It's got a nice texture to it. The A in the bottom there next to the number, that's holographic. The uh, water right there, up there in the corner, that's uh, holographic. And a Zarud. Zarud, we don't... We don't care about you as much. I'm sorry, but I have a stack of you uh, because, yeah, you're you're a common rare if that's a thing. Uh, so yeah, so far, uh, I mean, except for this, not rude, but uh, we will still love you until we sell you. That's basically how this goes. Uh, so for those of you who are newer to the channel, I know I did just gain a lot of subscribers over the past couple of weeks. First of all, thank you so much for uh, joining the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the content that I put out. And um, yeah, so I, I I don't do this for money. I'm not I'm like I'm not gonna just sell that Kyogre. Well, I might sell that Kyogre just because I have a couple of them. But if I pull like the Charizard, which I don't have yet, I'm not gonna sell him. He's going into the collection forever uh, to be passed down to my kids because. That's why I do this. I, it's for the love of Pokemon cards. I grew up on Pokemon. Then I became an adult and was like, oh, Pokemon, silly, because that's, you know, what society says. And then, you know what? I became a dad. I started, you know, we bought a house, moved in, saw my old Pokemon cards. I was like, you know what? Let me get back into it. Let me see what's going on. And that's when the Pokemon uh, card company just sold out all over the world because... People like Logan Paul and all those other Twitch streamers were just like, oh, we need to buy everything right now. And yeah. So anyway, so this is the last pack of the uh, Mad Party Pin collection. <laughs> we got Raboot. We got two shinies and an amazing rare out of the Mad Party Pin collection box. What is going on? That is absolutely amazing. And all right. So I, I can deal with that. But two shinies and an amazing rare. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, I went off on a little rant there. Uh, the main point that I was trying to make is uh, I'm not like some other YouTubers who do this just to make a quick buck. The the likelihood that you're going to make money doing Pokemon is, uh, ooh, uh, let's say astronomical to say the very least. Um, and uh, so yeah, I do it because I love it. And I hope that uh, I do it well enough to have a large following one day. But again, not, not for monetary purposes. I, I do just genuinely want to share my love for this with everyone else. Um, so yeah, so not bad off of the uh, Mad Party Pin collection box. That's the second one where we had uh, three great hits all in the same box. All right, let's see. This is the first pack from the Shiny Cramorant V box. Let's see how Cramorant holds up to Bunnelby. All right, first uncommon, second uncommon, and the wacky as the third. And okay, so all right, we can't have them all be shinies, but it sure would have been nice. And a full art trainer card to finish us off for that pack, Bird Keeper. This was actually the first uh, big pull that I got from this set when the set first came out. And so, yeah, I'm absolutely excited about that. Uh, so, yeah, like I don't sell singles, um, but if I have duplicates, I'm going to sell the duplicates because I don't need, you know, six whatevers because, you know, I just happen to pull them. And Shining Fates, whoo, so many, so many duplicates. Um, I have pulled uh, El Creamy Rainbow Rare three times, uh, Kyogre, Amazing Rare at least two that I can think of, maybe a third. Um, there's a couple of Full Art Shinies. Toxtricity uh, Full Art Shiny, I've pulled twice. Uh, so yeah, so there's a couple that I have two of that uh, I, I don't I don't need both. So I'm, I'm gonna get them graded and then I'm gonna sell the, the worst of the two because, you know, why would I keep the worst of the two? Uh, but yeah, that's the only time that I sell cards is when I have duplicates because yeah, this, it's not about the money. And while yes, it's nice to recoup 
some of the money that I, I've poured into this. Uh, I, I know that it's not going to be you know, the entire the entire thing. Uh, Celebi, Reverse Hollow Rare. Uh, that is a great card. And a Celebi. All right, so bang, bang. Back-to-back -back Celebis. Uh, Celebi, a fan favorite. So, you know, hopefully. I just don't know if I have Celebi Reverse Hollow. I know I have normal Celebi. I have a, a small stack of you as well. So, yeah, so far so good. We still have three packs to go. Hoping to get a full art shiny. Obviously, the Charizard. I called it in the beginning. And uh, I don't care if it was the first pack, the last pack, whatever it was. I just want full art Charizard. Uh, I, he's he's very hard. And pe the, the people who were lucky enough to pull him first day. Oh, God, I'm so jealous. So jealous. All right, Spinarak. Qfant. Gasofla. Snom. Energy, Dartrix, Eldegoss, and Luxio, and Eldegoss. All right, so another, you know, halfway decent pull, not a shiny. And okay, so Frost Moth. All right, holographic rare. I will take it. I do have it already, but you know what? I am all right with that. Two packs to go. Uh, and as you will notice, I sleeve up all rares and all reverse hollows uh, for the sole fact of if I do end up selling one of them. So like this, if I have two of the reverse hollow Celebi, I can sell one and I don't have to worry about it being damaged. The only way it would get damaged is in the packs uh, from the factory to the store and the store to my house. Uh, but I take great care of all of the cards. I wash my hands beforehand because, you know, as a buyer of individual cards, I want good cards. I want good, well-treated cards because, I mean, nothing's worse than looking at cards online and being like, oh, I'm going to buy that, and then getting it home, and then whoop. Nope, it's it's terrible. All right, three uncommons. Rusted Sword, Eldegoss, and Dartrix. Dartrix, do you have a full art shiny Charizard behind you? No, but you have a Swana shiny. There we go. That is our third shiny of the day. Swana, what do you have behind you? And a Cramorant VMAX, a double hit uh, pack right there. Uh, Cramorant VMAX, a card I do not have, so that is a great pull right there go ahead and double sleeve you up so far so good uh and i, I don't know i think the uh the mad party pin collection is still winning as of right now uh one pack to go too one more pack to go what are we gonna get are we gonna get a full art shiny Oh boy, full art shiny, that'd be great. Come on, full art shiny. One, two, three, four, and two. All right, come on, full art shiny. Full art Charizard. I called it ahead of time. Oh, all right, Snom. You fucked. Garuki. Buzzle. Yanma. Energy. Eldegoss, Gym Trainer, and Cramorant. Cramorant, what do you have behind you? Is it a Charizard? Can it please be a Charizard? A Reshiram, amazing rare. I will take that all day. Ah, oh, two amazing rares today. And what do we have behind you? A Volcani, I will take that. I don't care. We got a Russia Ram. Uh, amazing rare. Two amazing rares today. Three shinies, a VMAX, a full art trainer, and a reverse hollow rare. What more could you ask for from opening eight packs? That's it. That's all we opened. Eight packs, and we got all that. Whoo! All right, so let's set that over there and these right there so this was the pulls from the mad party pin collection two shinies and an amazing rare that's not bad that's not bad 
But then, out of more packs, I mean, Rush Ram, amazing rare. So that's gotta cancel out this one, right? Uh, shiny, that's gotta cancel out that one. I mean, I, I think the Cramorant box might have won. I really, I don't know. Oh, Bird Keeper, Full Art, and Cramor. Oh, I don't know. That is a tough call, but nonetheless, that is an amazing, amazing day of opening some Pokemon cards. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button. If you are here because you watched one of my shorts and subscribed to the channel, thank you so very much. You have no idea how much this means to me. Uh, I hope that you enjoy the stuff that I put out. And uh, I will catch everyone in the next one.